So I mentioned this in a couple of live streams um, about how I originally was using Daisy UI for my little side project, but now I'm deciding to just get rid of it. And it's kind of like, there's like subtle things of why I'm just like not a fan of Daisy UI. And more specifically, I'm using React Daisy UI. So that kind of compounds my issues. I'm using like some person's third party React library that has like 300 stars. And I found a couple of bugs already in this library. So it's like, why am I using this? But the main thing all boils down to accessibility, right? So for Daisy UI, if you go to the modal, and if I open the modal, if I hit escape on my keyboard, by default, this doesn't go away. For ex good accessibility, like you should have someone be able to click escape to close your modal, in my opinion. Also, like when I click on tab, notice that it's not even highlighting the yay button here. It's just stuck behind the modal, right? So like the accessibility for this thing is just not good from what I'm seeing. Like, okay, so now I see the modal, but I can also like click behind, which you shouldn't allow the user to be able to tab your elements when your modal is open. So that's like my main concern is that like the accessibility does not seem like it was built with this. So if you go to headless UI, let me do the same thing. Let me go to the modals. Um, where's modal? Here it is. And if I were to hit escape, the modal goes away. So again, there's built in accessibility for that. If I open the modal, notice that as I hit tab, it doesn't highlight anything underneath the page. Okay. Like my tabbing is locked into the modal, which is what you want for a modal and accessibility. So that's like the one, the main takeaway is why I'm like not using Daisy UI anymore and more specifically this React Daisy UI. And then also like the, the code's just kind of hacky. Like if you wanted to get this to work in React, you have to have some like weird label. And then behind the scenes, they like hook that up to hide and show the, the modal. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like remove Daisy UI and see like, what will break in my app? I don't want Daisy UI anymore. I'm gonna go to Tailwind. I'm gonna delete Daisy UI. Like so. And then I'm gonna delete this one and this one. I also have like React Daisy UI, so let me just delete that too. So with that being done, what I'm gonna do is in this video, I'm just gonna live refactor some additional places that I'm probably using Daisy UI and see if I can just get this stuff taken out of my project. All right, so let me go to Daisy UI colors and delete that. I'm gonna hard code this to blue, like it doesn't really matter. I wanna make sure this thing loads. All right, so blue showing up. Where else are we importing this thing? So I import it in my button, which that's fine. I'm just gonna use a normal CSS or HTML button here. And let's just go ahead and do that and see what happens. Let's also find anywhere I'm using React Daisy UI and just get rid of that. So I'm using a couple places, so we'll have to figure this out. In the footer, I'm using it for some reason, or a footer tag. Right, so I'm just gonna use a normal like HTML footer. So I'll delete that, and then I have like buttons that are used everywhere. So anywhere I use button, I should really just import my common library button, like that. This one can go away. Import my comment button. All right, so we have some tabs here. I'll do the tabs last because tabs, I have to bring in like a completely different component for that. Um, we got a text area. So this is also a good reason why you shouldn't like import from a third party library everywhere because when you decide to get rid of it, it's a lot of extra work. All right, so now I have like text areas everywhere where I don't even know why that was pulled in from Daisy UI. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Um, I got modal here, I need to delete the modal. I got an input that's used from Daisy UI. So let me just change that to a normal input. Same thing here, input, text area. Got some buttons which probably need to come from somewhere else. All right. Got a button coming from that one too. Let's just import from a common component and let's go over here. 
we got a card coming in. I don't think Headless UI has a card. But honestly, like I don't think it's too hard to find like a Tailwind CSS components card. Or just style your own. Right? So here is a example of how you can do a card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just like grab this and just use it instead of easy UI. And for source, I'll put, yeah, let me just put this whole source here. Actually, I'll just keep the mountains, doesn't matter. Like so. What else do we have? Image, body, so this has a classroom name for a title, which, just go ahead and put that in here. Classroom ID. Link in a button. I'll keep the Lauren Ipsum, but down here I'll put a button. And uh, that should hopefully... I think that'll kind of take care of this whole thing. Hope. All right, so now I'm not using the Daisy UI card. Let's just keep doing this. Let's go to here. We have an input and we have like a modal that will refactor in a second. Probably have some buttons there. Oh, we have another card here. So in this case, let's just go ahead and make a card component because we're using a card multiple, multiple places. So I'll say card.tsx and we'll just go ahead and make a card which let's see if we can find that card. I don't even know where I put it at this point. I think it's this one. So let's see if we can abstract away some of this stuff and have it just be like taken. So I will do a title content or title and body. How about that? And title can be a string. And for right now, body can also be a string. I'll do this, put the body here. Then for title, I'll put it here, and then I will put children. For buttons, I guess. All right, so children could be... I don't know what children normally is. Is it a React node? I have to go and Google that but it's probably good enough. So let's just go back to that card that we had. And um, I think it was this one, classroom card. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass in a title of classroom.name, a description. Actually, I think we called it a body. We got a title, we got a, okay, why is this not importing? There we go. We got a body, which could be whatever this lorem ipsum is, like so. And then children, like we could just put this here. So I'll just do that. All right, so now we got this card component that I think I only have two different cards I'm using in this application. So like I have to find where I'm doing a different card. Here's an enrolled card. And do the same thing where you pass in the classroom name, probably pass in this, uh, which, you know what, I might actually just yeah, I'm going to pull this out and put that here. I think that'll work, hopefully. I might have to wrap it like that. And then for children, again, I'll just put these, uh, these buttons. I'll put the buttons here, and then I'll delete all the rest. All right, so that's gone from there. That's gone from there. We still need to get rid of modal. So that'll be fun. We have modal used a couple places. Let's go back to this one. I'm going to find the modal. I'm going to find, um, I'm going to pull that in. It's called dialogue. And we're going to use that instead for this modal. So I think it's kind of similar. Like we just have to pass in like dialogue and then is open could be consistent. Um, and then on close could just say, on cancel. How about that? 
And then we could just kind of get rid of that other, other stuff here. And then what needs to be in here? We have a dialogue panel. And then we have title, a description, a paragraph. Let's just pull all this stuff in and figure out where this stuff needs to be. So like we have create assignments is probably in the title. We got a form, which should probably be in the body, which I could just put here. And then we had like some buttons here, which I don't think we need modal actions anymore. So let's delete this. Don't need modal body. Close off the dialog. All right, so I think this will work. I mean, it's not going to be styled like it was before, but the point is I'm just trying to get rid of Daisy UI. And then button, where am I using button everywhere? All right, so we got five more components that are using this. Hopefully some of them are easy. So button, just go ahead and import the button from our components, like so. And go back over here, where do we use the modal? So same idea, we have like this dialogue that we should probably just pull in. And uh, we'll do that. Import that from headless UI. And we need to basically do the same stuff that we did in the other component. So I'll just go ahead and handle the close. Update some titles like so. Um, got this whole form here that we can pull out and put here. Get rid of anywhere that says modal actions or modal body. Auto import the button here. And delete the modal. All right, got some buttons. Got another modal. How many modals do I have on this pack, this, this app? Three, I guess. All right, so I'm just doing the rest of the modals. Like I just, I'm just trying to get all the the Daisy UI stuff out of my project, and then I need to come back, and probably in the README, like, or the the to do. Let me see. Do I have a to do file? I need to make one called like build component library for modal and tabs and whatever else I might be using in my app that I don't want to have to like do this refactoring in the future. All right, so I have a tabs here. I think Headless UI also provide, provides some tabs. So let me just go ahead and pull in this whole thing and find out where we're using tabs. Looks like we just use it down here. Change tab. So they do have an on change. So I could just simply just kind of put this over here. I don't know if they have a value though. Oh, they have a selected index. So very similar pattern to the other um, Tailwind thing or the Daisy UI thing, but I'm going to put tab and set tab just like that and then we could basically for every tab we will do this and i wonder if there's a way to actually like specify the value using data attributes each component also expresses information um and for right now i'm just going to make this hard-coded to one and zero like it's fine i'm going to go ahead and put I'm going to put the assignments here. I believe this is how they're doing it. And I'm going to put the student section inside the other tab, which is here. I'm putting this stuff in the wrong place. Let me take this out, put it in the content one. Let me take the students, put it in content panel two. And then I don't think I need to keep track of like all this other stuff. Go ahead and import this. All right, somewhere I'm pulling in like a, a thing that I need to add a width to. I'll just do that. You know, for the card, I'm just gonna go ahead and hard code this image like so. 
and then I could just go ahead and like display it I think let's see if this works um, I probably just need to go up a couple levels though there we go all right so the buttons are kind of messed up but I want to make sure if I go to different pages like this stuff still show up and I can still use the tabs I just need to style them uh, the modal is showing up but it's a little bit messed up but I mean at this point I think I've successfully removed all traces of Daisy UI and now I just have to come back and just like style some of the stuff so goodbye Daisy UI I know this refactoring took a while but I'm much more happy with this approach and I'm gonna continue to use headless UI now because it actually has good accessibility um yeah, I'm going to commit what I got, and that's about it. So removing Daisy UI and using Headless instead. Go ahead and add all this stuff in. Commit and sync. All right, cool. Have a good day. Happy coding. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching me fumble around with refactoring, but that's all I'm doing here.